Race number 11, the last on a big day with the 11 race program and it uh, wraps up with a class three over the 1400 metres. Winner method is on the class drop. California Sybil has his first look over 1400 metres. It's back to a wide draw for Find My Love. Solid Impact has placed two from four course and distance. Run Run Buddy won from barrier 14 last time. G-Liners up in trip to the 1400. He was placed in Australia over this distance before he arrived. Laugh Tale is a newcomer for Richard Gibson, who's had four trials, one on the poly track before he got here. Aerial, two starts, two placings, course and distance. Taj Dragon flew home last time. And Dinkum, he was a tongue tie, Tom. Pace in this race uh, comes from out wide to Aerial Run Run Buddy. He's got barrier 14 to uh, navigate like he did last uh, time out. Unpresuming is drawn awkwardly. Uh, solid impact should get a nice run behind the, the pace and so too uh, Dink and Paul with the, the tongue tie on. He had blood in the track here last start. Yeah, look, he's drawn nicely, hasn't he, Dink? Uh, Dink him in barrier number two, so he should get a good, good run. Eternal Bloom uh, steps up in trip. He should uh, be there midfield. And Taj Dragon, he made ground coming from the back last time. I think they'll do something similar here. You'll make a case for him shortly, Taj Dragon, but Frankie Law's going to make a case for his charge. Run, run, buddy. Frankie Law, run, run, buddy. has been doing a good thing for you and your stable recently. He's won his last couple and he's now up in grade. We'll run again on Sunday. How is the horse? The horse is still in good form. Uh, Law is going up to class three. Uh, to see if he got, he got a good horse, would be better for him, yeah. He's made all the running. Um, he's had the four runs. And ever since he's gone to the front, he, he's looked very good. Has that been by design or, or just the way that races have panned out for him? Yeah, um, I think he, he got a... a, a some key speed and uh, his big stripe. Uh, I think he can lead or he can sit second, third. But uh, if he can lead, I think it should be better for him at this moment. You mentioned that gate speed. I went back and had a look at his last two wins. It's a noticeable trait, isn't it, with him? He can be very quick out of the starting stalls. Yes, yes. Has he always shown you that? Uh, when you uh, win the first one, uh, he also lead by himself. So the, the last one, I, I, I will ask, uh, also ask uh, the, the jockeys if you can lead, so we can lead by himself. Yeah. I did notice, Frankie, on his most recent run, he'd put on a little bit of weight from his first win. Yeah. Have you noticed the horse sort of strengthen up and, and develop as he's as he's gone through his career so far? Uh, you know, last time he draw 14. For me, he's uh, and then and then he uh, uh, lead, uh, put on some more weight. Uh, a little bit uh, difficult for him before. So and when he raced in that day, he lived by himself quite quite uh, smooth. So I think he got a chance. So he win the race also, yeah. Frankie Law there, re-run, run, buddy. Solid impact, though, is our first replay. Tom, there he is, following Drombeg Benner down on the rail, turning for home. Yeah, and he travelled into the race really well. He's actually been quite consistent recently, yeah, this horse, and to drove hard and just missed here, so it was a handy enough run. He's right in this, uh, Paul, from uh, that sort of uh, draw, I think, uh, get the just about the run of the race, really. Yeah, he should. Uh, he definitely goes in for me as well from barrier number five. And, look, as you're right, he won that race at Happy Valley and has backed up with a couple of good placings. This one as well. Look, he had his chance to get past Stromberg Banner. He, he couldn't quite get, get past him, but he was getting there on the line. It sure was. So that is solid impact. Uh, unpresuming Paul, and here's your find my love again. Yeah, look, I've, I've left him out. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably win this time. Um, I, the draw, he's drawn barrier 13. He normally goes back when he's got that draw. He drew nicely here in barrier number two, and I, I thought he had his opportunity to win, but he got the perfect run, he just couldn't go on with it. Unpresuming's going well, but again, he's drawn wide as well. I think he's going to get trapped a bit wide. Yeah, that's a little bit of a concern. He was sort of wide from the, the 600 last time out, uh, unpresuming, and he sort of held his ground maybe a little one pace late in the piece, and uh, he did peak on his run on the inside there as well, find my love. That is that to two. What about Ariel, Tom? We've got him at 27 and 12 in early betting. He's on the rail following the leader for home. Yeah, so look, he, he's had pretty much every chance here. It looks like he's travelling so well at this point, but uh, in the end it was uh, the uh, horse that uh, had been building to a, a win again, lost a child, and uh, look, I think he had every chance here, really. He was able to capitalise with that run. I don't think he's going to be afforded sort of the same opportunity here, Paul. No, he might get taken on, I think, with Run Run Buddy in particular in the race that can come across and uh, take him on. So, look, um, look, he was on the cast, but I looked at him, but he didn't, didn't quite make it in. This one does, doesn't he? Taj Dragon on the way. He finished last time. I like this, the run from this horse. He's won over three times over 1,200 in the UK before he got here. You can see he's well back here over the 1,400. Now, Red Lion uh, is the is the horse that does win this race. So, look, I thought um, it's come up from, I think, and I think Red Lion's going to win the, the race previous. So, 
coming with that for sort of form line, Chu Chow Spirit, he had his chance the other day. But he's look at Taj Dragon, the one, the very outside, really stretching out nicely. I think he's acclimatised well. And, uh, I think it'll be a decent price. He's 10 and 4 at the moment. He's off a rating of 61 here, and you like the, the way he finished off there for sure. So um, it'll be interesting from Barrier 9 what they decide to do with him, Vincent Ho. Mm. All right, so you've made the case for Taj Dragon, uh, Paul. You're going to make a case for this one, Tom, off the track work of Eternal Bloom. Yeah, Jerry Chow rides uh, here. He's having a good, strong hit out uh, down the, the back straight there. This back on the, the sixth, and uh, he's a son of Turn Me Loose up to 1400 metres. He was only beaten three lengths behind Supreme Lucky, and I think that's a good enough form reference coming into with us. He's currently at 15 and 3.9, but course and distance, three starts, a win, and a second. Yeah, I've included him as well. I think um, it was a nice piece of work there leading into this. All right, so he's in. Taj Dragon is in. Who else makes the top four? Yeah, we're going to make Taj Dragon the, the value play for the for the meeting. So he goes on top. I thought Run Run Buddy, he's been going so well recently. He's on the hat trick, but he's got to overcome the wide draw. Solid impact should get the perfect run. And Eternal Bloom, Bloom even. 13, 6, 4 and 7. Seven Eternal Bloom uh, I've got on top uh, in the lucky last uh, for uh, Ricky Yu with Jerry Chow. Solid impact's been consistent. Run, run, buddy has to go in the way he's going in. Happy day form around him is good. Have a Nagila's one and uh, Alacrity has come out of that race into one. He was fourth in behind at Ching. Seven, four, six and twelve. That is the preview for the last race, number 11. A reminder, an earlier start time with that extra race. We get underway at 12.30 on Sunday afternoon.